Good evening, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Isolated showers and thunderstorms still around, mainly in areas east of the parkway. We have one cell that has just developed over the last couple of minutes just to uh, the west of Danville. It's heading to the east, so Danville could pick up on some brief heavy rain here over the next 20 to 30 minutes or so. Farther to the north, that's where we have a few clusters of thunder showers, say from Appomattox County south into Charlotte County. Areas around Evergreen, right along Highway 460, south into uh, parts of, say, eastern Campbell County, also into northern parts of Charlotte County. Very heavy rain along Highway 47. Rainfall amounts, rainfall rates in excess of two and a half inches per hour, say right along Rolling Hill Road, Red House Road, areas right along County Line Road, as this cell again is going to move to the east and should be out of the viewing area over the next 45 to 60 minutes. The worst of it should actually just stay to the north of Charlotte Courthouse. You're going to pick up some heavy rain in Charlotte Courthouse, but the uh, the thunder, the lightning, the 40 mile per hour wind gusts, those are likely going to stay just north of you in Charlotte Courthouse and head a little bit closer to say Eureka by say 1130 and into areas in and around Keysville between 1135 and 1140. So if you're watching us right along that Highway 15 corridor, it's about to turn wet for you over about the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes or so. So for tomorrow, high temperatures right around 87 degrees overall tomorrow going to be partly to at times mostly sunny, only a minimal chance for a shower tomorrow. Chance for some rain goes up on Sunday with hit or miss thunder showers developing, especially after lunchtime, what's going to happen is we're going to have this front to the south. They're going to, going to be likely an impulse of energy, a weak low pressure system riding this front as we head into Sunday, and that will increase our rain chances a little bit. So as we take a look at future tracker, as we head into the overnight tonight, we're looking at any thunder showers ending. This is Saturday morning, and you'll notice that we're going to be dry with skies partly to mostly sunny. As we head into Saturday afternoon, we're still looking pretty good. Saturday night is really nothing worse than partly cloudy. Then Sunday's going to start out with a few more clouds in the mountains little more sunshine farther to the east. Then as we head into Sunday afternoon, that chance for some scattered thunder showers will increase. Tomorrow, if you're heading to Floyd Fest, great day to do it. We're mainly dry and actually a little less humid. 9 a.m. temperature low to mid 70s, middle 80s by around 5. Hey, keep your eyes to the sky tonight, sky watchers. In uh, late July, Mars will be in something called opposition beginning tonight. It's going to be actually closest to the Earth on July the 31st. And it's really hasn't been this close to the Earth since 2003 and won't be this close to the Earth again until 2035. So keep your eyes at the sky. Look to the southeast. You'll see Mars and actually you'll also see Saturn overnight tonight as well. Wet pattern returns for us next week. We're going to have that southerly flow returning, grabbing tropical moisture, bringing in our direction. That means more rain, more thunderstorms could pick up anywhere from two to maybe even four inches of rain for us here as we head, say, from Monday all the way through Friday. So flooding will likely become an issue again for us here as we we head into next week. It's 73 in Lynchburg, 70 in Withville. Good evening in Blacksburg. You're at 68. The muggy meter starting out tomorrow. Not too bad. We're likely going to be a little bit humid in the morning, but by the afternoon, dew points are going to be in the upper 50s near 60. So we put a happy face on the muggy meter for tomorrow. It's actually going to feel pretty good tomorrow afternoon. Only to have the muggies really go up and it's going to feel sultry as we head into next week with high temperatures 80 to 82 with lows likely next week in the 60s and lower 70s as next week. Uh, every day, scattered showers and thunderstorms will be around and some of the rain we see next week could be heavy.